While MP4 files pretty much dominate the world of digital video as the web's standard, if you often work with video files, you might need to convert your file to something else. If you're on Windows, finding a solution for this can be tricky. While there are tons of online services and programs on the web, it can be hard to tell which one you need. Luckily enough, we've found three of the best, ranging from something quick and easy to professional grade software. Here's what we've got. The first thing is to try something that you might not expect and might even already have installed, VLC Media Player. Its conversion function is pretty quick and easy to use for simple conversions. If you don't already have it, just click on this link in the description below to download the installer. Once it's been installed, open it, then click on the media menu at the top right corner and choose convert or save. On the window that pops up, add your file, then click convert save at the bottom of the page. In the next window, just choose a video profile for VLC to convert with. Feel free to try out the other presets to see which one suits your needs the best. If you really know what you're doing, you can click on the wrench icon next to the profile menu to customize your settings. If you run into issues, you need to convert more than a few files at once, or you want something a bit more advanced, Handbrake is a free, trusted, and powerful tool that you can also check out. Just click on its link in the description below to download the installer, then open the app and drag your file into the program window. The software will detect your file's info and display it right under source. For quick and easy conversion, click on the presets button in the top right, then on the small arrow next to general. From this list, select the preset that mirrors your original file's resolution, then check the format setting under the summary tab. If you know what you're doing and you want more control over how your software compresses your file, feel free to check the other settings tabs and adjust the presets. General presets only go up to 1080p, but you can use this on 4K videos by checking out the Matrotska list. While this is fine if you need to convert your file into something more common like MP4 or MKV, if you're not satisfied with your results and you need to convert something into a format that's a bit less well supported, you might need something more versatile. Shutter Encoder is a professional grade, completely free open source program that can do so much more than just convert videos. Visit its link in the description below to learn more and download the installer. Once it's up, just click on browse to add your file, then choose what you want from the drop down menu. Depending on what you want to do, more options will pop open to the right. Feel free to adjust them to what you need. Once you're set, click start function and it'll start to work. You'll get a notification once it's finished. While this might be a slower option than the other two and result in a larger file size, you do get the highest quality output possible. For any issues, you can consult the FAQ section on their site, the Reddit page link to it, or email the creator directly. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering video conversion and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.